Hi friends, you can see this picture, there is the sun, solar panel is there in blue color and wind panels are there and trees are there, earth is there and there is a hand. So by seeing this figure we can easily identify that I am going to discuss the regarding renewable energy sources where sun is there so solar energy so by using solar energy and wind energy we can make our environment green and our motherland in a proper way so that the environment will be good as it is otherwise just in play that means in providing or in generating the electrical energy itself we are polluting our nation our natural resources like anything just by using thermal power plants even hydro power plants and nuclear power plants also so without those things or let us just stop those things and let us take the advantage of these renewable energy sources like solar energy and wind energy so let us see what are the different advantages and disadvantages of renewable energy sources in this video yeah advantages of renewable energy sources let us see the first one is renewable energy won't run out definitely for example if i am i want to generate electrical power that means i am obviously taking the help of thermal power plant as i have we have very good coal resources so we can go ahead with thermal power plant so i have gone ahead with thermal power plant but in thermal power plant nowadays the coal is going to reduce in a rapid fashion so what happened so now my raw material was run away it, it goes away and finally my plant has to be shut down in a faster rate that means i need to shut down in within 5 or 6 six, six years only that was the problem but coming to renewable energy that means suppose i am erecting a solar panel there and i am using the solar energy when the solar energy will go off definitely it will be it will be there it never goes off so it will be there for so many years so many means so many years similarly wind power plant is there i i have chosen a place for my wind wind power plant so i erected the wind panels so when the wind will be stopped yes i have done all uh, enquiries such that that is the place where i can place my wind panel because uh, i will get more wind okay definitely wind is always there of course it may be intermittent and it may be there are some disadvantages in wind and solar also but still it never goes off that's the advantage of renewable energy source okay let us see what are the other points in this big point renewable energy technologies use resources straight from the environment to generate the power so this is the main advantage of renewable energy sources we are not taking the uh, we are not taking the raw material from processed things that means coal is there coal means trees trees are trees are the natural resources and after trees if the tree will be cut off and we need to make it into we need to convert the same thing into coal after some years so that's the this, uh, difference between the two resources so in con non in conventional sources that means coal or hydro or something they are not naturally available they are some process has to be done but here they are directly available sources solar energy directly available so that's why these are the these renewable energy won't run out and these energy sources include sunshine wind tides and biomass to name some of the more popular options of course these are the some of the more popular options and next renewable energies won't run out which cannot be said for many types of fossil fuels as we use fossil fuel resources they will be increasingly difficult to obtain likely driving up both the cost and environmental impact of extraction 
yeah as the availability of these fossil fuels goes on decreasing so the cost keep on increasing that's why we are now we need to see the renewable energy in this context okay let us see the next point the next point is maintenance requires are low maintenance requirements are low why because here if we take the solar power plant there is no other equipment is required hardly it requires solar panel maybe some inverter to convert it into ac or if i use directly dc there is no issue of inverter also i can directly use it and if i want to save the power i need to use battery that's all they are very simple things and especially in solar power there is no rotating equipment and there is no rotating machinery so the maintenance becomes very very low and in when compared to thermal power plant obviously the maintenance is very huge because thermal power plant has huge by the by products are ash and flue gases and we need to maintain them properly and uh, those pipes and all these things has to be maintained properly otherwise the uh, work will not be go in a good fashion maybe in motors also we need to maintain as rotating parts are there we need to maintain regularly so that it costs more okay so when compared to conventional energy sources renewable energy sources have less maintenance let us see the points here in most cases renewable energy technologies require less overall maintenance than generators that use traditional fuel sources this is because generating technology like solar panels and wind turbines either have few or no moving parts and don't rely on flammable and combustible fuel sources to operate fewer maintenance requirements translate to more time and money saved that is very very important as the maintenance requirement is very less even the time is also saved in spite of uh, even in addition to money even time is also saved and we can we can invest that time in some other purposes maybe erection of some extra panel or something we can do something or we can we can think of how the generated power has to be transmitted or how the generated power has to be stored or how the generated power has to be converted and all these all these things can be think of and can, can we can do th those things but coming to conventional the maintenance is more so the time is also wasted like anything so that is the advantage of renewable energy sources in this slide we have studied two points one is renewable energy won't run out maintenance requirements are low and the third point is renewables save money very good point how the renewable energy saves money because the raw material for this renewable energy sources from nature and they are abundant in nature so no need to pay any pay any amount any amount to get the raw material and there is no transportation cost also for getting raw material for example if we have thermal power plant coal is there and if coal is from coal ores so we need to get the coal ores from i mean we need to get the coal from the coal ores they may be some kilometers away from the power plant maybe definitely some kilometers away from the power plant and i need to pay for the transportation also but coming to solar energy solar energy you can get everywhere so no need to pay for the transportation also so that is the in that way renewable energy save money let us see these points also using renewable energy can help you save money long term not only will you save it on maintenance costs but on operating costs as well okay you can save money on operating cost also when you are using a technology that generates power from the sun wind steam or natural processes you don't have to pay the refuel that is the advantage why no no need to pay for the raw material or refuel that means no need to pay for the for those raw material of the for generating the electrical energy 
the amount of money you will save using renewable energy can vary depending on a number of factors including the technology itself so if the technology is very good you can you can save more money because as the technology improves means money has to be reduced as per engineering knowledge is concerned so definitely if you have very good technology means your money will be saved and the next point is renewable energy have numerous health and environmental benefits everybody knows this okay as we don't have we don't have pollutants that means i don't have ash i don't have fuel gases to generate in this generating power electrical energy so obviously environment will be very good let us see these points also renewable energy generation sources emit little to no greenhouse gases or pollutants into the air okay they may emit little or no this means a smaller carbon footprint and an overall positive impact on the natural environment this is point is very very important in this context and in these situations during the combustion process fossil fuels emit high amount of greenhouse gases which have been proven to ex exacerbate the rise of global temperatures and frequency of extreme weather events so this is the main disadvantage of fossil fuels when compared to renewable energy in in the point of environmental context and the next point is and we we can continue this point the use of fossil fuels not only emits greenhouse gases but other harmful pollutants as well that lead to respiratory and cardiac health issues with renewable energy you are helping decrease the prevalence of these pollutants and contributing to an overall healthier atmosphere so this is very important point for example if a thermal power plant is sanctioned just beside your house definitely you will get something maybe you you will get a respiratory problem or cardiac problem or any other problems but if a solar power, solar power plant is sanctioned just beside you you may not get all these things that is the advantage of renewable energy sources the last point is renewables lower reliance on foreign energy resources as the ore is or sorry as the raw material is available naturally abundantly freely and daily all in all these things we no need to depend on any other country to get the raw material or to fetch the technology if you have the technology if you have the proper technology no need to fetch the technology from the other other countries also in this way we can have an energy freedom for the country okay that is this point is also very important with renewable energy technologies we can produce energy local that's very important wherever wherever your house is there you can produce the energy wherever your village is there you can produce the energy that's the advantage the more renewable energy you are using for your power needs the less you will rely on imported energy and the more you will contribute to country's energy independence as a whole this is very 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 important point even though our country is independent really are we really independent based on energy is concerned no means yes now we are really independent because we are generating our own electrical energy we are not taking much we are not taking that much amount of electrical energy from other countries because now our country is developing like anything so we we no need to depend on any country for the energy at least electrical energy is very basic energy suppose we don't have technology in any aspect maybe um, maybe in uh, armed forces we we may not have that much technology in wars we can we can get some goods or we can get some rockets from Russia, or we can get some rockets from Israel. That's not a big issue because the the amount you 
amount invested on that is not that much use amount and that's not regular thing but this is the regular thing every day we are using it every day we are consuming the energy so this for these things we should not depend on any other country because if we depend on other countries for this these things one on the other day that country will rule us definitely because this is in, in everyday work not one day or two days for example if we are depending on russia for one or two images or maybe one or two rockets then that is for one time or two times that's all not more than that. but for energy every day we need to depend that's why we our country should be independent we can generate our energy independently without help of any country that independence can be given by the renewable energy very nicely because the basic the what we call the the basic raw material is naturally abundant in renewable energy but compared to conventional things our coal is going to stop now our coal is uh, already exhausted what can we do our thermal power plants are there for our thermal power plants we need to get the coal from other country if our country's coal was vanished then what shall we do we need to definitely depend on other country if we go ahead with thermal power plant suppose if we are going ahead with renewable energy sources no we no need to depend on any other country to get our solar power solar energy okay that is the advantage of renewable energy these are the five points from advantages of renewable energy sources let us go ahead with disadvantages of renewable energy yeah the first disadvantage is higher upfront cost obviously the installation cost is very huge in for in these renewable energy sources let us see this while you can save money by using renewable energy the technologies are typically more expensive upfront than traditional energy generators obviously that should be there to combat this there are often financial incentives such as tax credits and rebates available to help alleviate your initial costs of renewable technologies yeah governments have so many policies to help you in terms of tax credits or some rebates to erect these renewable energy sources with that we can eradicate this small disadvantage from renewable energy sources the second point is intermittency obviously for solar energy solar energy is very much available in day time and solar energy nowhere available in night time that is the intermittency again next day morning time solar energy will be available and night time solar energy will not be available in that way the energy is intermittent energy let us see these points though renewable energy resources are available around the world many of these resources are not available 24 by 7 year round some days may be winter than others the sun doesn't shine at night and droughts may cause for periods of time so these are the things that means uh, some days the wind is more and some days the wind is very less obviously sun never never shine at the so night time so because of these things the these energies are intermittent in nature these can be unpredictable weather events that disrupt these technologies okay maybe some unpredictable weather events may disrupt these technologies and fossil fuels are not intermittent and can be turned off or on at any given time as fossil fuels means we have got coal now okay suppose there is a power, power has we have we produce more power so we no need to use this coal this coal can be saved somewhere that's all we no need to start our plant also suppose there is a problem or, or suppose there is a demand for energy then we will start starting our plant and we will start producing our generating our electrical energy but coming to these things we you cannot do like that okay that is the disadvantage in renewable energy sources the next point is 
yeah storage capabilities storage capabilities are very very less in renewable energy sources because of the intermittency of some renewable energy sources there is a high need for energy storage okay that is required the storage is required for renewable energy sources while there are storage technologies available today they can be expensive especially for large scale renewable energy plants yes even though the storage technologies are available today but the installation of storage technology will improve will increase the cost of the plant it's worth nothing that energy storage capability capacity is growing as a technology as the technology progresses and batteries are coming more affordable as time goes on we are expecting that the bat the cost of the battery will go down as the technology improves and the next disadvantage is geographical limits let us see what is this the united states has a diverse geography with varying climates topographies uh, visit visitation and more this creates a beautiful melting pot of landscapes but also means that there are some geographic geographies that are more suitable for renewable technologies than others okay let us discuss about uh, india <coughs> let us discuss about india in india based on uh, geographical limitations actually we are very close to equatorial line maybe in all southern states even in not many of the northern states got very much solar very much solar uh, uh, capacity that means solar radiant is very much uh, there are very good solar radiated places are there in india so where we can erect these things and in some areas Uh, we can, as we have very good seashore, so we can have wind power plants also. But coming to other places, they may be, they may not be that much suitable for some of the things. Maybe for wind energy, North North India may not be that much suitable because that means that is completely closed one. There is no ocean of uh, flowing of wind because of those Himalayas and maybe some other things. And coming to North. Uh, south india so as it is completely seashore so we get good amount of wind there so we can go ahead with uh, wind power plants in this way for each and every power plant that means for solar power plant there is there are some geographical limitation and for wind power plant there is some geographical limitation so in this way in geographical limitations we can call the geographical limitations as one of the disadvantages of renewable energy sources coming to the next point so yeah only four disadvantages are there so renewable energy has more benefits than drawbacks so we can uh, happily erect these renewable energy sources at our homes offices and colleges and wherever we can afford and let us see uh, these these points also when it comes to renewable energy the positives outweigh the negatives so obviously because the the raw material is free abundant and the cost is running cost is less and there is no pollution so how, because of these advantages we can definitely go ahead with renewable energy sources transitioning to renewables on a personal corporate or government level will not only help you save money but also promote a cleaner healthier environment for the future obviously we this is this is the advantage we have already seen it so installing solar panels is one of the easiest way to go green okay that is only the simple method to make our environment clean and make the environment green so this these are the advantages and disadvantages of renewable energy sources thank you so much for listening to the lecture and if you like this video please like it if you want to share this video with your friends and family please share it and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe and please press the bell button so that 
you will get the notification whenever i upload any new video thank you thank you so much